So today we're at Deer Park Junior High and we are distributing iPads to our sixth graders. This will be the first time that they've gotten a device that is assigned to them for their uh, learning and they'll be able to take it home. Well, we found that in about 2015, 2016, that a lot of our resources were going to um, digital. Our textbooks were moving away from the paper version more to the digital form so they could stay up online. Our teachers wanted more resources and our kids didn't always have the resources at home or they'd be different and it just seemed to interrupt the learning. So we began to pass those out beginning with seventh grade and then uh, we did eighth grade, sixth grade, and now we keep moving it up. Now all our students in grades six through 12 have them that they can take home. This next year, or coming up in September, uh, later this month, we will be passing out iPads or assigning iPads to fifth graders. Now they won't take them home, but they will be assigned to them specifically. I think Deer Park ISD is uh, unique, um, not because we provide a device for every student uh, or, or for all our students in fifth through 12th grade, because a lot of school districts do that. But I think that we take a different approach. We don't just provide a device. Our teachers have been through extensive training on how to utilize that device through best practices. We made sure that the curriculum was ready, we made sure our teachers are ready and we continue to work with them. We look at what trends are coming, not only in technologies but also educational. What is coming up on the horizon and how can we provide the best tool for that? Our teachers are coming in and actually uh, being part of that research. We have what are called innovation teachers and they are uh, cutting edge. Not only are they good with pedagogy, but they're also great in how they use technology appropriately. As we're moving forward, the big buzzwords or techniques or skills we want our kids to have are not only communication, that's important, but also collaboration. And we want creativity. So in moving toward that, we're adding some great new labs in our junior highs called Innovation Labs, where students can come in with their teachers and they can collaborate and they can be creative in uh, producing products. They can be innovative in their thinking and learning so that they will be successful as we prepare them for tomorrow.